One final study, and this was one carried out by a scientist at Berkeley named Darlene Francis, which took some amazing surgical skills. So there are different strains of rats that have been bred for different levels of anxiety. And we've already heard about one possibility for that. It turns out some genetic differences in the promoter to the gene for the benzodiazepine receptor. There's all sorts of strains that have been bred for high, low levels of anxiety that people have studied. They've been bred. These are transmissible traits. These are heritable. These are genetic traits. Here's what Darlene Francis did, which was she did an adoption study. What's the adoption paradigm we've heard already? Right after birth, you cross foster the rats or the kids get adopted. That's not the adoption study she did. She transferred fetuses. She figured out how to do the surgery to move a fetus early on in development from one rat mom to another rat mom, where they develop perfectly normally once she had the surgery down. And you know what turns out to be the case? It's not a genetic trait. It was not a genetic trait. You grew up with the anxiety levels matching the strain of your mother, even if the strain of the individual whose body you fetally developed in. You take a mom from the high anxiety strain, and you take a mom from the low anxiety strain, and you take fetuses from the high anxiety mom, and they go through gestation in the low anxiety mom, and as adults, they are low anxiety. It was not a genetic trait, it was a prenatal one having to do with another one of those multi-generational begatting by having early experience influencing the nature of a pregnancy you would eventually have, and thus influencing your fetus, producing a different pregnancy for them down the line. This demonstration of cross-fostering, of adopting as early as you possibly could. Enormously important study, one really difficult one, yet another way of pounding in this point, environment does not begin at birth. And some of the most important environment is not occurring starting at birth, and everything about behavior genetics classically was predicated on there's no environment before that. 